Good morning, student. Hope that you all are well. Let us start our new topic, and the today's topic for discussion is salivary gland and teeth. Previously, class, I told you that mouth consists of three parts: that is, tongue, teeth, and salivary gland. And we have discussed about the two type of process: that is, mechanical process and the Uh, chemical process i told you uh, how mouth help in the mechanical process now today i am going to discuss about how the mouth undergoes and help in chemical process for this let us study about a gland known as salivary gland helps in the chemical digestion in the mouth how many pairs of salivary gland are present three pairs of salivary gland are present inside our mouth where they are located they are found in and around your mouth and throat it releases an enzyme known as salivary amylase which enzyme is released by salivary gland salivary amylase what is the function of it it helps in the breakdown of the starch into simple sugar and it maintain the ph up to 7 remember salivary gland how many pairs of salivary gland we have we have three pairs where they are located they are located near the mouth and behind your tongue or throat a enzyme which is released by salivary gland is salivary amylase it helps in the which uh, part it helps to break down the starch into sugar and maintain the ph up to 7 the most important note you have to make is that when the food is masticated or chewed and all the salivary secretion get mixed with the food properly now that particular food is not called as food now it is called as bolus what it is called as bolus you can explain or define bolus when a food is broken down lubricated with saliva and form into gluey mass is known as bolus coming back to next part that is the teeth what is the location of the teeth teeth are located in uh, on in your jaws we have two type of jaws upper jaw and lower jaw coming back to next part we have two types of teeth that is the milk or the tem temporary teeth or Uh, what is the number of that teeth? That is twenty teeth. Second, we have a permanent teeth. The number is thirty-two. Again, you have to make a note to it that the white substance that cover your three teeth is called enamel. It is the hardest substance in the body and made up of calcium phosphate. Second, most important thing in the teeth which you have to know based on the structure and the function. Teeth are of four types. Remember, if it is asked how many types of teeth, you will only simply say. milk or milk or temporary teeth or permanent teeth based on the structure and functioning how many types of teeth we have you have four types of teeth incisor premolar canine and molar please student make a note to it that you have to make remember all the names of this four teeth and with and their structure also summing up again we are, i want to tell you that uh, the chemical digestion starts in our Now, first most important thing, how it starts? It starts with the help of a gland known as salivary gland. Where they are, uh, how many num, uh, how many pairs are present? There are three pairs of salivary gland. Where it is located? It is located in your throat and behind the tongue or your throat. What the enzyme it re releases? It releases an enzyme known as salivary amylase, which help in the breakdown of starch into simple sugar. It maintain the pH up to which pH? pH seven. You can define the bolus when the food is broken down, lubricated with saliva, and form into gluey mass is known as bolus. Next important thing is your teeth. Where it is located? It is located in your jaws. We have two jaws, upper jaw and lower jaw. We have two types of teeth also, that milk teeth or the permanent teeth. Milk teeth is twenty and permanent teeth is thirty two. The white substance that cover your teeth is called enamel. It is the hardest substance in the body, which is made up of calcium phosphate. Based on the structure and function, teeth are of four part, four kinds: incisor, premolar, canine, and molar. You have to remember all the name of four teeth and their structure also. In the next lecture, we will discuss about how many number are present, what is the number of these teeth, and what is the function of these kind of. till then thank you